Hi, this is Lance. This is a second video in a two-part series, adding audio to Google Slides from a Chromebook. I specify that this is from a Chromebook just because the first video was pretty exclusive to it as far as the environment goes. The second part is totally applicable to whether you're using a PC, Mac, or a Chromebook. Any of those three are appropriate. And so I first talked about the Google Drive setup that's in the first video. Please see the description if you need to see how to go about setting up your audio files properly in Google Drive so that way they are accessible by your viewers that are gonna view your slide presentation. And then this video is all about inserting the actual audio. So I'm gonna jump down into three different scenarios. So one might be to insert a background track over the entire presentation. So I'm gonna start with background tracks. Again, please see my previous video if you're not sure about what to do with your audio tracks and putting them in Google Drive. All audio tracks have to be residing in Google Drive in order for it to work with Google Slides. And they also have to be viewable by the public. So what I'm going to do is go to Insert, Audio, and I'm going to click on Recent. Again, I had already placed these in my Google Drive. These are my most recent ones. And I'm going to choose a song. So let's go with Away here select it's already selected keep in mind if you click off to the side your menu will change so you want to make sure that it's selected it's a little bit sometimes tricky to actually select your audio track again it'll automatically play like that but you need this button right here so after it's selected once you'll choose format options after you choose format options and i've already been in here before kind of fiddling around that's why this is popping out like this normally when you first click on it the first time it'll be more truncated like this. So I'm gonna select audio playback. So format options, audio playback. Again, your track must be selected in order for this menu to show up. I want this one, since it's a background track for a whole presentation, I want it to automatically start. I want the icon to be hidden once it starts playing. And I also want the audio to loop. So that as the slides presentation is rolling, it's gonna continually loop that same audio track. And I don't want it to stop on the slide change. So as the slides are automatically rolling through, I want the audio to continue playing. So I'm going to turn that off. When this slide comes into view, it's going to kick on the audio. And when I continue on in the presentation, it's going to keep rolling. So I'm going to purposely start on this one. So you can see that audio is not playing. But as soon as I click on the next one, my audio track is playing. I'm going to click off to the next one the next one and it continues playing and I'll hit exit as soon as I hit exit it's over all right so that's the first scenario of having an audio track continuously play throughout an entire slides presentation the next scenario is what if you just want an audio track for an individual slide so what are some situations where you'd want that to happen maybe you want to add your own information talk about it maybe you want to tell a digital story maybe you have a background sound or, or music to affect the mood of the slide or maybe you're running like a q a session that'd be kind of fun have the questions on there and then answer the questions with audio tracks so let's put in some audio tracks in that scenario click on audio and i had already recorded these ahead of time and so I'm going to select this one. Why should I record my voice? Hit insert. And I'm already on format options. That's why it's appearing right now. Otherwise, if it didn't appear, you would have to select it. Format options, audio playback. And in this scenario, I want it to automatically play. And I don't want the icon to be seen. That's up to you. That's just preference. I don't want the audio to loop because I don't want it to continually play over and over. I only want it to play one time. And I do want it to stop on the slide change. So I don't want it to continually play to the next slide. Okay, so when this slide changes, I want it to stop. All right, so let's look at that scenario. Sometimes you need to record your voice when you need to add extra information about a slide. Maybe you're just telling a digital story or maybe what if I wanted some music in the background? I could do that too. So let's go back to insert audio. I'm going to add a second song here. Let's do a fever. And in this scenario, I am going to make it that it automatically plays. I want the icon to hide. I'm going to adjust the volume level of this one. So that way it's much lower than my voice. I just want it to be quiet. And I want it to also stop. 
And that's a way that you could set a mood, especially with digital storytelling, you could set a mood for the individual track. Sometimes you need to record your voice when you need to add extra information about a slide. Maybe you're just telling a digital story or maybe you just need... Okay, pretty cool option. And then the last option is what if you want it to be like an interactive tool of sorts, kind of like ThingLink, where when you click on the audio track, then it makes it so that way the user actually hears a sound effect or your voice. So let's try it. Insert audio, and I have a cursor sound effect here. I'm gonna move this guy actually over here. Let me move him. He's a little bit tricky to move sometimes. And if this happens to you where this menu or this option pops up over the top of it and it's being a problem for you, then what you can also do is when you finally do get it selected, you can actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard. It's just sometimes a little tricky to get to. So once I have it selected, I can use the arrow keys, move it to where I want it to go like that instead of clicking and dragging it. And then I want this one to kick on on the click and I don't want to loop it. I just want it to stop on the slide change. Lots of cool options there. I'm going to go ahead and insert another one. Audio. And this is for the audio icon. So that way it has a description. Again, I have it on click. I want it to stop when the slide is changing. I'm going to hit present. And I'm going to click. This is a cursor icon. This is an audio icon. This signifies. To so I gave you three different scenarios here. One is for a background track over the whole presentation. One is for audio for individual slides. It could be background music, could be just my voiceover. And another scenario is what if you want it to be an interactive tool where you have audio tracks that are played when the person actually clicks on the audio icons. Again, I set this all up by placing the audio files in Google Drive that's in my first video. Please see the description if you need access to that video. I hope you found these tutorials helpful and I hope that you have fun with Google Slides and the inserting audio features.